This video will be about how to survive your first night in Minecraft. Okay guys, today we'll, I'll be showing you how to survive your first night in Minecraft, and also the controls and how to work on the materials needed to survive your first night in Minecraft. So first thing what you want to do is take your mouse and click on single player, create new world, unless you already have a world, and I'm going to call my world tutorial I guess, because we're doing a tutorial. Okay, so you you want to have your game mode on survival. If you have it on hardcore, you will the first time you die will be the last time you live. So creative is free flying and unlimited resources, but that's not what this tutorial is about. This tutorial is about how to survive your first night in survival. Don't click on more world options. You don't want to go there. We'll go into that in further detail next in the next video. That will mess up your world and you don't want to do that right now. We'll do that next episode. So then you want to click create new world. And it will say building terrain or loading world. And that means it's just building your world, and it does this pretty fast for having such a big world with such big pixels. Okay, so, wow, I have a really good world. So look, I have a forest biome here. This is the forest biome. I have a plains biome out there. You can see those trees. That's a savanna biome, and I have a village. This is the best world I've ever ever probably spawned in the first site. So, first thing you want to do is go and chop down some wood. It doesn't matter what kind of wood for your first night. So, you want about two trees full of wood. One, two. And when I mean a tree full, I don't mean if you're in like a pine forest with the really tall trees. Don't mind a whole tree. Just get about maybe... 12 wood but get it of the same tree or else it, it get it um from the same tree uh two of the same looking trees like i got my other one from birch tree and this is also a birch tree and you can know if they're the same or not by hovering over them and it's just say birch wood if you have two different piles of wood that means that you're you have two different types of wood You should get the first achievement by clicking E for your inventory. That will show you what you have here in your inventory, and this is what you have in your hotbar. Your hotbar is what you want in your hotbar is what you're using to build. It's easy access to get to what you need to save your life, like a sword or water or lava or something like that. To, to move, you click the W key to move forward, the A key to move to the left, the, e the D key to move to the right, and the S key to move backwards. If you'd like to jump, you can click the space bar. Also, you can move your mouse to look around. The first house I always have is not a house, just like a hidey hole. You don't want to make a big, great big house for your first day. You want to have a nice, simple, little house. So, start by digging a little hole, and if you hit stone, look how hard that is to mine, and you won't get anything from it like you've been getting from the dirt. So, you go to your inventory and take your wood, doesn't matter what kind of wood, and you put it in the crafting table that you have right there. Your little crafting thing. And you see the work planks and you take it out. And then you take that and fill up the whole thing with wood for a crafting table. Then place your crafting table down and make sticks like that. As you can see, most of the things in Minecraft look like what they are supposed to be. Like, look. 
crafting table is in the shape of a square. Sticks are in the shape of straight up and down like a stick. For, then what you want to do is take your sticks, put them like this, and like that, to make a stone pick. Looks very similar to like a pick if you align the sticks and took those and compressed them together. Take your pickaxe and you'll, you should get the achievement time to mine. Then you have, in order to get this achievement, if you put bonus chest on, you won't get this achievement. You must first craft it in an actual crafting table to get the achievement. Then you go in about one, two, three, four, and make a right or left, it does not matter. What is that? Yep, it's a type of stone. It's, a new, it's new to 1.8. So, you want to make a tiny little corner back here. And then, make a nice little room. You don't want to make a room just right out, because if you have a room right here, mobs or skeletons only can shoot arrows at you and might kill you. That's why you make the corner and go to the right. Now I'm going to go out and take my crafting table. And bring it in. Then. To move through your hot bar, hot bar, there's nine squ little squares. That you click one for the first box, two for the second box, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can also scroll with the with your mouse with the little thing in between the two clicks to scroll between fast. I like using the the numbers because it's close to my my fingers when I'm using W A S D. And I always keep the things I need the most into one, two, three, and four columns because they're closest to my fingers and I don't have to move all the way to nine or something. Then make a furnace. A furnace has a hole in it to put your stuff in, and it looks like a furnace would with a little hole in it. Okay? So you should get the achievement Hot Topic, and then take your furnace and place it wherever you want, you can place it above the crafting table, right next to it, or over here. I always place mine above the crafting table, because I can put a chest there and there, and a chest won't open unless there's a space above it. Okay, so now I'm going to go outside, except first, I need to craft a sword. So I take my one stick, and two wood, to make a wooden sword. You should get the achievement, Time to Strike. Now, if you go out here with the controls you just learned, you can see some animals. But, there might not always be the same animals in your biome as there are mine. So, the best thing that you want to do is scout around to see what you can see. For example, I see water, animals, a village, and a cave. The first thing you want to do to survive your first night is food. I like to keep the cows first because they can, they are very useful in the in the middle of the game. So first, go for the pigs, and then you want to take the pigs and just kill them, slaughter, and leave at least two pigs. Don't kill them all because later in the game you're gonna want to breed them to, to keep them in a pen so that you can so that you can breed them and get more pigs. So once you kill a cow and get hide or leather, you get you should get the achievement cow zipper. You want to kill a lot of cows and get a lot of leather. 
at least leave two to three cows. Okay. Oh, I am lucky. Okay, so on my first day, I found coal. You might not always find coal, but it looks like that. All ores look like this with the dots, and, except they're different colors or different shapes, but they all have dots on them. This isn't an ore, it's more of like a stone. Looks like dirt, but it's not. And coal is used for smelting things, making torches, and you can also use it to trade with villagers. Now, don't be sad if you don't get coal or a village on the first day. It just It's just random. It's how the map spawns. It spawns different every time. Unless you use a seed generator. When you get coal, when you mine it, you should see little on the bottom, right above your hotbar, you should see experience. There's li that little green bar that shows how much experience you have. Not meaning experience like in Minecraft, but meaning XP. You can use that later for enchanting things and to get them to greater levels. If you just heard that noise, that it means that there's a cave nearby. And what do you know, there is a cave. So you want to get all this coal, it's good. And make sure it's not getting too late, but it's not. So we're good. Almost night. Take this. Can you hear that kind of bubbling? Like a bubble popple? Pop a bubble popping? That means that there's lava nearby. I don't know where it is. Hear that? That means that there's lava nearby. I don't know exactly where it is, but we will find it in the near future. So, you want to go back to your home, don't venture too far out just to find coal, just see when you're, when you're, there are your surroundings, and you should go inside your home, and put a little block here, so that no mobs can get in, or no one can get in, because mobs can't break doors. So you want to take this, take a stick if you have one, or you can make a stick. And put it right there at the coal and there you have it four torches one of those equals four torches so take one of those torches put it right there and now you have light in your home now you have coal so you want to take one coal you can smelt eight things with so maybe put the cow meat in, the raw beef, and start smelting that. Meanwhile, you make some fresh new tools out of cobblestone from building your house. You should get the achievement getting it an upgrade when you get your new um, stone pick. And then make a new sword. You shouldn't get the achievement when you make a new sword, axe, or shovel. Only when you make a new stone pickaxe. Make some more sticks. And let's make an axe. And make... And a shovel. If you were watching me craft those items, all of them look almost like it would look like in real life. Now you want to make a chest, which looks exactly like a furnace, except with wood. And make one of those, maybe two. And place your chest down. Now that 
you've been working hard, your food, at least some of your food should be ready to eat. So you bring that to your hotbar and right click and hold it down and then it should be done and it should go to the side. Now all those little chicken pox down there, the little chicken wings, those show your hunger, how much how hungry you are. And when it's down to the last one, it means that you're gonna start dying of hunger, so you should get food fast. Top one, when it's fully filled, it means that you're at full health and you'll start regaining um, health points. The hearts are the health points. Now, with chicken and these hearts, you lose it half at a time, but it depletes slowly for chicken, for the little chicken fingers, the hunger bars, and for the health it depletes depending on how many hits you take or how much damage the thing that hit you does. Take that out and put my pork chop in. So now I'm going to take this and put my new weapons in there. Put my coal in there, my wood, my cobblestone, all the good stuff that I need to save. And now, my poor shop can be Take a piece of coal. You know what? You can also smelt things with wood. Um, this can smelt things, except it goes really fast. The wood starts making less fuel fast. So you need a lot of wood to th smelt one thing. Okay, so now when you go outside, you should see mobs, like this zombie, and they will start coming toward you. And if you want, they'll start coming up, stand a little bit back. That's a skeleton out there, right there, and he has a bow, so that's why I made this little curvature here, because if you had the room right here, it would just just try to shoot in and kill you. Just try to okay, nothing there. Okay, put that back. Sometimes if you kill skeletons, it'll give you its bow. Sometimes they have enchanted bows. Sometimes they have armor. It all depends on what skeleton you're facing. All skeletons are the same except for what they have on or what they what type of weapon they have but mostly all skeletons will have a bow an arrow so you can see another zombie up there and a skeleton right there i think that skeleton's coming toward us as you can see the stars are moving and that that it, they move with the moon and the sun, and it's equal on both sides, so there's a, there's an even amount of pixels. So when the stars start, when you start getting more stars over there and less stars over there, that means the sun is coming up soon. So the sun should come, be coming up relatively soon. So you should go inside, and let's see. We can also, no, we don't want to craft, another thing that we can craft is a hoe, and that's for taking, like, grass, and you can right-click on it, and it gets you, um, a, pl a plotted piece of land, and you can pl plant seeds in it, and we'll discuss that later. So, I hope you enjoyed, and the night is almost over. And we have done all the things necessary to survive our first night. If you like this video, please slap that like button and subscribe. See you all folks later. Tune in for the next video. Goodbye.